Hey there, bike farmers. We're going to try something a little different today. I'm going to show you what it's like to do a 20 minute tune up inside the bike mobile. All right, here we are with our patient. Trek 8.2 DS. Um, I tuned this bike up a few years ago, so I'm fairly confident that uh, it's gonna be a nice, quick, easy cleanup, lubricate, check the systems. Um, just a true 20 minute tune up. So let's get started. Just gonna run through the gears real quick. All right, we're getting every, we're accessing everything. Looks like uh, we used to have a chain guard on here and it's now missing. So I think I can get rid of the remnants. Usually there's just a couple of screws to remove. Yeah. Just go one by one with these. You know, the thing with the bike mobile is how efficient it is. Because, you know, like my garbage is right there, and my tools are right behind me, and my parts are right behind the camera. Um, you know, there's just, I can reach everything right here so there's no running around or anything also I don't have customers popping in when I'm in the bike mobile so I don't have to field questions All right, pop the wheels off here. And uh, let's clean this frame up a little bit. So I'm just going in with power wash right out of the gates here. I think it'll give it a nice clean, fresh look. You know, and then uh, this is the first bike of the day in the bike mobile, so it also gives the, my rag a little dampness. I always like that. Because I always wipe as I go and having a really or a nice damp rag makes that more effective. And sure enough, I can feel that, you know, on these brake pivots, everything's moving freely still, but it, uh, it's dry. Everything has dried out over the years on this. See, so my rag is damp and I can just get the dust off of this bike without having to spray. Okay. It's a pretty good start. And then, well, I got the wheels off, it's pretty easy to if you pull the derailleur back, that gives enough slack to pull the cables out. Get those, get the housing out of its stops. Take a little bottle of Tri-Flow, a couple drops on your cables. Little dab will do you folks. Brill cream. Little dab will do you. You know. 
hairstyles, hairdo stuff. Rear derailleur cable is freshly lubed. Looks like I replaced some housing, probably a cable the last time I tuned it up. I remember that uh, this one needed quite a bit of work. We're a real good transformation, you know, it had been neglected. And I think picked up second hand and turned it into a really nice riding bike. Always feels good when you can do that. Kind of off camera here, but you know, out of frame. Just dropping a couple of drops in the cable guides underneath the bottom bracket there. Ooh, feels brand new. I got my one step going here. We're gonna just a little squirt in the shifter pods, top and bottom, and then brake lever pivots. This really just keeps everything alive. Rear brake cable. And there's a little bit of a little bit of a kink in the housing here. Bend that up. And then this little back piece with the noodle. Get the friction out of there. A little bit of tri-flow. Okay, drop some lube in the brake pivots. Like I said, they're, they're fr moving freely. We just want to add a little bit of lubrication. They're dry. Not anymore. Okay. Good to go. Very nice, very nice. Should we move on to those wheels? Look at that. I don't know how long it's been. Eight or ten minutes. And everything's wiped down, polished, lubed. Everything's moving freely. You know what I mean? Like that, we made a lot of progress in just a, just a few minutes there. So let's get onto the wheels. Okay, with the wheel in the stand, got a little bit of power wash rolling. Just keep her spinning. It's like throwing a pot. through and polish the spokes. I think it makes a difference. I mean, maybe not performance, but it looks better. You know, just get the grungy off the spokes. And it looks like a new bike. And then I go around the rim and I floss in between the spokes. Shines right up. I haven't added air yet. We can do that. Again, you know, everything's so efficient in the bike mobile because it's all right here. Um, 
you know, I like working in the bike shop too because it's spread out. You know, you got more room to breathe. When you're inside working in a close quarters like this, um, that would uh, feel claustrophobic, I think. But I don't feel too claustrophobic out in the van. I have the doors open and I feel like I'm outside, just sheltered. That's my air compressor you hear in the background. It's right beneath me. Very quiet. And this wheel is very true. So I don't even need to touch it. Move on to the front wheel. Also very true. I mean, so the air compressor is a very small one. You know, I get like one tire fill before it kicks back on. I've often thought about getting a bigger one. I run it off an auxiliary battery that's charged by the alternator. So usually between appointments, it charges up the battery enough to run that compressor and my lights. And I have a little little amp, a little Bluetooth amp back here that, you know, there's some outlets. It's a nice setup. This van was purchased used, already built out as a mobile bike shop. It was a Beeline van. Beeline was a franchise I could have bought when I started, but I opted to go on my own because I couldn't figure out how anybody could make enough money to justify the buy-in price for the franchises. And I was right, because a couple of years later, right before the pandemic, all the vans out there, everybody was selling them. So I picked one up really cheap. Now, I mean, this van is worth more today than it was when I bought it, which is kind of amazing. That one's done too. Let's get the wheels back on the bike. Right, get the wheels back on the bike here. Reconnect the rear brake. Get the tire or the cable boot, the dust boot in place. Let's all right, I can see that this brake is only pulling from one side. Make sure I got the wheel in all the way. Oh. So we're going to make a quick adjustment to the brake spring. Pull that brake over. I'm looking at my pads down here. Gotta check this text quick. Okay. We're around to the front. Pardon my reach. Reconnect the brake. That one's pulling a little bit more from the right than the left. I'm gonna pull a little bit of tension from this side. I'm gonna add a little back. That's pretty good. Right. Now, one thing I haven't done 
is lube the chain. Take my can of tri-flow here, but unlabeled. Give it a good douse. Way more than you need, but and then I'm just tri-flowing everything I can. Anything I see that's going to be moving, squirt a little up in that kickstand, wiggle it around. Okay. And I'll check my indexing. Felt a, that this cable was a little loose. Now that all me um, measures up because I see I got a black piece of housing here, which reminds me that I replaced this cable and housing in the last tune-up. And it's just a little break-in period. So I just reach back here and turned out that barrel adjuster, just like a turn. Okay, it's having a hard time getting up into the low gear. Cable tension seems right, but that's a limit screw adjustment. Just backing it out a little bit. That should help that chain jump up there. There it goes. Magic fingers. Check the front. So I put it in the middle ring here. And I can see it's rubbing a little bit on the inside of the cage. Tells me that the cable's a little tight. But this barrel adjuster is messed up. So without major surgery, can I get a turn or two? Well, I can. All right, it's just bent. Hey, that was enough. Okay, well now it's rubbing on the outside. I'm gonna make just a quickie adjustment here. That front derailleur was off by a half a degree. Now it's over shifting. High limit screws going in because it was over shifting. Still over shifting a little. Still over shifting a little. You think? Man. Ah, uh, that's right. Dead on. It's hard to beat that. So, everything's polished, everything's lubed. Wheels are clean and true. Check my, I'm going back and forth with the handlebars to check the headset. When you do this with a suspension fork, a lot of times you'll just feel the lowers and the stanchion. There's always a little bit of play there. Uh, check my bottom bracket. Yeah, I'm calling this puppy done. Okie dokes. Well, that was it for the mechanical part. I'm going to take this one for a quick test ride and uh, give it back to the customer and head out to the next appointment. All done. You're done? Yep. Three takes? Or three shots? Yeah. Good as new.
All right, well, there you have it. 20 minute tune up in the bike mobile. Uh, this bike was a nice, easy one. Cleaned up real good. It's going to be another good three, four years on this one for my customer. So thanks again for tuning in. If you like this and want to see more content, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell so you know when the new videos come up. And uh, like it. Tell your friends. There's lots to learn and lots to show. Thank you.